Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to create server level audit in SQL Server. We'll be using two ways to do it SQL Server Management Studio Graphic User Interface and using T-SQL Script. There are two kinds of audits in uh, SQL Server world. One is SQL Server Instance Level Audit and other is SQL Server Database um, Audit. In this particular video, we'll be creating a SQL Server uh, level audit. That means that we wanted to capture all the events that happen on a particular SQL Server instance, not the database. So when we talk about creating uh, an audit, we are basically configuring audit to capture some specifications which all the events that uh, happen on SQL Server instance, they are uh, basically normally called uh, audit specifications. So uh, audit specifications are the object of audit. First, you have to create an audit and you give name you need to store give the target of the audit you can store it in file and uh, there are different targets of audit and then you uh, create a certain specifications to store in that particular audit file if certain events happen on sql server instance you can go ahead and capture those instance and put it in that file later on you can do a lot of stuff on uh, the, that uh, particular file you can send that file to auditors you can send the uh, that file to your DBA team so uh, there, there are a lot of usage for the audit so what we're going to do we're gonna go ahead and create the audit in this particular video and then in next demo we're going to go ahead and select the create the specification and relate to this particular audit so let's go ahead and uh, do create the audit in order to create the audit you need to connect with SQL Server instance uh, I'm connected with SQL Server instance using Management Studio and um, once you connected with your SQL Server instance in my case is Tech Brothers client SQL Server Mirror is my instance and you expand the SQL Server instance and you go to the security tab and expand the security tab and up here you will see audit and server audit specifications these two run together in order to for in order for us to have a successful audit so first in this video we're going to configure the audit so that we can go ahead and put all the specifications or in other words in simpler words all the events that we wanted to capture um, in, in, in this particular instance of SQL Server we can go ahead and configure that so we're gonna go ahead and right click on audit click on new audit keep in mind this audit needs to be created before you can create the server audit because uh, the reason I'm saying that there's no way of uh, there's no use of creating server audit specifications before you b basically create an audit so we're gonna go ahead it won't let you save unless you have an audit to point to so this is I'm going to do is um, basically create login failed this is uh, my audit name so in this particular audit what I would like to do is any login failed to this particular instance I wanted to capture that and uh, up here is a queue uh, uh, delay uh, every time it happens uh, it's going to uh, wait for 100 uh, uh, 1000 milliseconds and check that again if that event happened it's gonna grab and basically put it in your target so on audit log failure we have a certain actions right here we wanted to continue the audit we wanted to shut down the server there are some very critical audit uh, um, uh, scenarios especially in organization like banks um, and insurance companies that if something happen uh, a, a certain event happen you don't want your server to be up you would like to have the server go down and make sure that uh, maybe it's a security threat somebody is trying to d d delete something that you're not supposed to so this is very important right here that you can shut down the server um, or you can whatever the operation that particular user is trying to do fail that operation and up here um, you have audit destination as I was talking about it's also named as targets so you have a target file you have a security log you have an application log this security log and application log is your uh, um, operating system if you go you, to your uh, SQL Server 
um, log, you will see that you can access the security uh, log and you can access the application log. And all those events will be uh, actually shown in those particular logs. But my recommendation is always, please always use file because sometimes there are other stuff uh, 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 default um, events happen that goes in security and application log and you might be uh, you might have to dig down way deeper to find what you're looking for in in that uh, particular log file so I would always go ahead and put my specific law uh, audit logs into my own file and after that I can go ahead and filter what I'm looking for so we're gonna go ahead and uh, uh, click on file and I'm going to give a file name right here uh, actually the path so this is the path I want it to create the file and maximum rollovers files uh, the, this means that uh, if it reaches to a certain size of the file it's going to create another file and release the previous file so this is very handy when it comes to um, we're, we don't want to basically uh, keep it limited we're going to go ahead and um, do the number of files whatever you wanted to do that so um, I this is just the demo purposes so I'll keep it the maximum roll of a file uh, unlimited but you can specify how many files you wanted to create and it'll keep uh, obeying you on your setting so maximum file size if you uncheck this you can have the file size if you wanted to file one gig uh, let's say I want one gig file and after it goes to one gig it should create another file you know and um, uh, that's 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 the specification this is very important right here that uh, if you if you do that because you don't want to put a, a audit file somewhere and run out of space you want, might want to move your files um, somewhere in a shared directory and delete the file locally if you're putting somewhere here you can put a UNC path here by the way if you need to so filter right now is not available because uh, we uh, really don't uh, we don't have a, a captured data so far so I'm going to go ahead and click OK as you can see right here the login failed audit is uh, created keep in mind whenever you create audit it is by default disabled in order to enable the uh, audit you need to right click and click on enable audit nothing will happen until you enable uh, your um, audit and same with server audit specifications so once it's enabled you can come here and basically view the audit logs and uh, also you can go to the specific target file that you have created and look at the audit file so I'm going to go ahead and uh, um, basically delete the this and use our tsql script to create same audit so let's go ahead and load our script I'm going to basically delete this one as well so let's load our tsql script create an audit it's not really difficult right here um, I'm going to go ahead and take this out so I'm going to go ahead and this is my audit this is the uh, audit name and I'm going to go at login failed audit and file path is right here maximum size I'm going to go and do it one gig so maximum rollover files these are uh, how many so I'm going to go ahead and do it 10 and uh, a reserve disk space is off you could basically go ahead and uh, put one MB right here and it'll uh, you know not go more than one MB and but you will run into error a lot of errors if you uh, don't give enough space for this delay is uh, um, every one second this is milliseconds keep in mind this is in milliseconds and on failure you wanted that to continue if you have uh, basically a requirement to shut down the server uh, you can also shut down the server or fail the specific task whatever is the action being taken place on SQL Server instance you can go ahead and fail that so we're gonna go ahead and create this 
as you can see the command ran successfully let's go ahead and take a look as you can see that it's not enabled so we're gonna go ahead and go in the properties as you can see delay as you can see the file name up here number of files 10 we configured and up here is 1024 MB which means exactly 1 gig you can also uh, in the script you can put uh, 1 GB right here or TB however you wanted to do that so basically this is how you create an audit uh, by default the audit is disabled you can go ahead and click on enable file audit or you can write uh, you can go ahead and uh, basically um, uh, use the tsql script and uh, enable your audit so this is how you create it and i hope this video helps